Office Squared allows you to create Microsoft Office documents, compatible documents, on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So as you can see here, I am in my main file browser where I've created a folder called Daily App Show and then I've created an Excel document for our budget. So under the Daily App Show folder, I have Demo here and basically I've entered some text and we can change colors and we can add text color background and we can justify the text any which way we would like. Um, as you can see here, we can tap to get the keyboard. We have Save. We've got some different text modifiers here. Uh, we can justify. We can indent. We could do bulleted lists or numbered lists. And then, of course, we have search, undo, redo, lots of good stuff here, and then, of course, save or delete. So very simple text entry works in both portrait and landscape. You can also copy and paste photos in here as well. You can paste text from anything. So whether it be a text message that you got that you want to save or uh, text from a website, you can copy and paste it right in to this document. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this Excel spreadsheet. You can see here that it looks exactly like a spreadsheet. You simply tap in to a field and type in an amount. And then of course I can move over and type, type in any other uh, amounts that I would like as well. I can see the entire sheet here. I can insert, clear, do basic cell modifications that we would be able to do in, uh, in the normal Excel software. And then also create functions. So if I wanted to uh, set this up so that it automatically did the subtraction, I could do that right in here. And then of course we have some other modifiers as well. Different items that you would normally see in Excel. Let's go ahead and save because I did not save. It gave me a warning and asked me if I would like to save. It's very easy here to create new folders. Simply type a name. It creates a folder. You can create folders underneath folders. Very easy to do that. We can move and copy items as well. So let's say we wanted to move this item and place it under Daily App Show. It's very easy to do that. And now you see it's removed it and placed that item underneath the daily app show. So now we have both of those here. Click plus to create a new document or a new workbook which is an Excel spreadsheet document. Tap on trash and it's really easy to delete an item right here. Under the settings we can enable file sharing from a web browser that is on a computer connected to the same Wi-Fi as your iPhone or your iPod Touch. You can go to whatever address shows up there and download the files. You can sync them with your Google Doc service. So if you have a Gmail account or a Google Apps account, that means you have the Google Doc service and you can sync the documents in this app straight to that as well. If you have the iDisk service with MobileMe, you can use that. You can use WebDAV, which works with a lot of other applications. And then there are some other options as well, enabling sleep. We have some viewing options here, and then some basically localization customization here as well. Uh, if you are in a different country, you may want to use a comma for a decimal separator or something like that. So uh, very cool, easy to use application for creating those Word documents so that you can sync them with your Mac or your PC or probably any other mobile device that allows file sharing. So definitely check out this app today in the App Store.